Google Opal is just mind blowing. Watch me create this mini app in just less than few seconds. Create an AI thumbnail generator app. Press enter and now it will create a complete AI thumbnail generator app with all of the API keys and everything just within few seconds and that's it within literally just less than five seconds it created this app and this is our workflow in here you can see there is this test description we can also input a source image as well and then based on your test description and your source image it will generate image instructions and then it will generate a thumbnail image and then it will display that thumbnail image you can completely add or edit this workflow but first let's just test this so now i can simply just click on the start button and now this is how it is looking like. I can totally provide a source image, but let me just give a simple prompt. So I'm just going to give it this prompt, which is create a Mr. B style thumbnail. There should be text or day in London and that's it. So now I'll just press enter and now it will create a thumbnail. Right now you can see it is generating this image instruction. And now after image instruction, it is now generating this thumbnail image. And this is our generated thumbnail, which is just mind blowing. Just look at this quality. It looks like a proper YouTube thumbnail with proper text. There might be some sort of like improvement needed here on these like faces, but overall it looks just mind blowing. So this new AI tool Opal allows you to generate mini apps by simply just giving it a simple prompt and it uses different AI models by Google for text or image or even audio generation. It uses different AI models by Google. As you have just seen, it is so simple and easy to use that anyone can simply just like sign up and generate like these kind of like simple mini apps. This tool simplifies a lot of things. You don't need to deal with code at all. You are not required to create an API key separately and then use that API key inside your code base. All you have to do is just explain your idea and this tool is smart enough to choose a relevant AI model and then build your complete app without writing a single line of code. This tool is just to develop personal softwares. You cannot publish these mini apps as like paid apps. You can just like create a simple mini app and then just like maybe share it with your family and friends. But so far you cannot charge for this because this whole concept is to develop personal softwares. One more problem is this tool is only available in US right now. So if you're not in US right now, like me, I'm based in UK, so I cannot access this tool directly. So that's why you have to use VPN. And right now I'm using this this VPN and I was able to sign up and then use this tool. Let's try to create something else maybe. So I'll simply just click on this create new button and now I will just give it a prompt. So now I'm giving it this prompt which is I have a YouTube channel. I want to develop an app that can search topics for my YouTube channel on a daily basis. The topics should be relevant to my YouTube channel and should be trendy. So now I'll just press enter and now let's just see if it can generate this app. If this tool can generate this app, that will actually save a lot of time to me on a daily basis. Right now you can see it has generated something. So right now you can see enter your YouTube channel's topic and then conduct in-depth research. And then third step is generate video topic suggestions. After that, it will then present an output. Okay, that's amazing. So let's just test this tool. I'll simply just click on the start button and now I'll just give it topic. So the topic is AI and coding. Press enter and now let's just see what it creates. Right now you can see it is doing in-depth research on this particular topic. And after that, it is going to generate the topic suggestions and then it will generate this HTML output. And it is using Gemini 2.5 Flash. It used that for web research and now it is using Gemini 2.5 Flash, I think for topic suggestions as well. Right now you can see it has just finished its research. It has just like found all of these different niches and different channels and all of these different keywords as well. This is like more than enough data. And now it is generating these topics and now you can see it is presenting this. So the first one is daily AI tool, deep dive, news, okay, coding assistant, okay, fine. Build a mini AI agent today, fine. AI code review in five minutes, all right. Top three AI prompt engineering secrets for perfect code, daily tip. Okay, perfect, all right. So yeah, it's good enough. I can actually fine tune it more because these topics were actually based on this research that it conducted. And in this research, you can see it got data from all of these different websites. So these topics that it has generated is based on that research data. This tool is so impressive. I think the future of personal software is going to be defined by this tool because there are other tools like we can use bold.new or you can use like replit. 
but i think this tool is more fascinating it just like works straight out of the box you're not required to like provide any sort of like extra api keys you don't have to like sign up on an extra third party platform to provide an api key because it is going to use the in-house google ai models so that's a limitation as well i think maybe if you just want to like use flux to create images but this tool cannot use flux it will only use maybe like imagine by google so imagine is an ai model by google that is used to like create images so it will not use flux it will just like maybe use imagine so yeah that's the limitation but i think this is just like an experiment by google to see that how people respond to this tool but so far this tool is mind-blowing when it comes to like creating personal softwares without any technical knowledge so i hope you like this video if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section i see you next video bye, -bye.